Okay guys, so today I'm going to be making a video on these professional grade lights that I got from Amazon. So, this is for another low voltage system that I'm doing. So this is for a system that I'm going to be redoing, um, like because I'm going to be replacing a lot of old lights that are broken and stuff like that. They have an older low voltage system. So, I have, I ordered 200, or two 600 watt transformers because they needed two new ones. And then I ordered these pathway lights yesterday and they came in today. So I wanted to show you how to put one of them together. So as you can already see, I do have one pre-assembled. So I'll show you what it looks like so far. This is a professional grade light. So it does come with the LED bulb because it is a newer fixture and stuff like that. But it is a really cool fixture as you can see. So I got them two of these uh, bronze pathway lights. I did put the professional connectors on them. They are uh, really cool. So I'm going to show you how to pre-assemble these. So you have three screws on this, and then you got the plastic shield, which um, so water doesn't get in, which that's a really cool feature. So I'll move this one out of the way for now, and I'll show you how to put one of these together. So first thing they give you is they give you the LED bulb. It has the has three LEDs at the top, and a whole bunch of LEDs around it. Now I'm pretty sure if you wanted to you could actually use halogen bulbs in these fixtures as well but we're just going to use the LEDs um, in these fixtures because they want the uh, they want their their uh, low voltage system to be LEDs since we're going to be redoing it all so since I'm going to be redoing all the lights and stuff but I ordered ones where you can replace the bulbs on because the newer ones of today, they have ones where you can't replace the bulbs on. So don't ever buy those ones because those ones, you have to throw the whole fixture away if, if the uh, LED burns out. But these ones, buy these ones because these ones have the BI pin socket and they come with the LED bulbs. So these can easily be replaced if these burn out. So that's a good thing about that. So... Now I'm going to show you how to insert the bulb. So here's your BI pin socket. So this is a G4 BI pin bulb. So you easily just line this up with the pins right here. I don't know if you can see that. And you just easily wiggle it into place and we'll go right in. Sometimes it usually works if you do it the other way. Let's see. There we go. And it should pop right in, just like that. So there is the G4 LED ball. That one popped in pretty straight. The other one kind of popped in like a little bit different, but there we go. There's that one. So our next step is to put this back on. So the way you do that is uh, you put this back onto its shield here. So. Gotta line up the holes here. So let's see, then you grab your three screws. So it uh, takes three Phillips head screws to put this back on and to service it. So this fixture can easily be serviced when the ball burns out in the future, which that's a good thing about this fixture. That's why I bought these um, for them. So. And they and the stakes are pretty professional too, so I'll show you those. I'll show you what one of the stakes look like here in a minute. So go ahead and screw that down. Just gotta put the three screws back in. So we got that one. Let's go ahead and do our next one. Yeah, the older ones um, that I'm replacing did have a shield. Um, those are the older ones I'm replacing. The brand of those is called OLP. Um, so they're all OLP lights and they're really cool and they're vintage as well. So, um, they're vintage lights that we're going to be replacing because they're a lot, because all of them are pretty much broken and don't really work at this point. So these new ones should work pretty well. Make sure those are all tightened in there. And then... Your fixture should look like this, so you can see the little bulb in there, which that's pretty cool. Okay, so our next step is to um, untangle the uh, wire here, so do that little thing there. So now 
what we're going to do is we're going to put the set pole on here. So here's the set pole. I don't think it really matters which way it goes in because you can kind of see the threads. It's got threads on both ends, so it really doesn't matter uh, which way you thread this in. So we'll go ahead and uh, feed our wire through our tube here. So we'll go ahead and do that. The last one, when I um, pre-assembled the last one, it was very easy to do. So this one should be really easy to do as well. As you can see, there's our wire. So easily just pull that through. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and thread this on. Make sure the threads, gotta line up the threads first. Oops. Right there. I think we're on there now. It looks pretty straight now. There we go. Make sure that's tight. Okay, there we go. So that looks, that should look like that. So that looks pretty good. So now our next step is to put on the stake. So, Another thing about this is look at how look at how uh, good the stake is. This is a really heavy duty stake, um, with it being professional grade. The professional grade lights work uh, really well if you can replace the bulbs on them and stuff like that. A lot of the older professional grade lights were pretty good as well, but this newer one that I got from Amazon is pretty decent. So, oh shoot! <laughs> as I said, I always buy the ones where you can replace the bulbs on because. You always want those ones instead so so you can easily easily shove this through a little slot there and then this uh, just simply threads right on to the pole as well and then and then you should have and then their light should look like this the other one that I showed so yeah I'll go ahead and thread this one on so now the connectors um, were a little challenging to put on it took some time to get that the first one to work that I showed you. Um, the connectors took some time to do because first it was kind of hard to understand, but now I know how to do the connectors. So what you do is they already have the wires pre-stripped for you, which that is a good thing there. So now the thing is, uh, here's what the instructions say for the connector part. So here's what it says. Here's the wire connector instructions. So, so they show you like, so what they're like. What I didn't understand about this first is because like, see they show like a, like that really doesn't really look like a low voltage line right there. It kind of looks like something else. But what you do is you kind of separate your low voltage line, then you put your connectors on there. You thread those on, and it should look like that. And then your next step is you. Like, of course, you, those are the wires from the fixture, so you take those out. And then, like, you just kind of just shove those right into it, actually. So, that's actually very easy to do, because it says put the wire into the joint and screw the cap on. So, that just caps those into that and makes a connection. And then that says twist and tighten. And then pull on the connectors, and then it works. So, yeah. First time I did it, it didn't work. The second time I did it, it worked. So, yeah. So, I'm going to make a part two on this as well. On, uh, on putting the connectors on. So, anyways, thanks for watching. And have a great day. And stay tuned for part two when I put the connectors on.